Mamma Mia! It's -a me, Genius Pie Trap, not Mario, as you probably thought from my amazing Nintendo voice acting skills, but the guy that brings you Steam tips. And today it is on Enhanced Steam. I already did a video on Enhanced Steam roughly two years ago already, but a lot has changed since then. Steam has actually adopted a lot of things from Enhanced Steam and added it to their things, and Enhanced Steam has added more things since that video. So I, I really do think it deserves a second look, especially with the spring si summer sale, spring sale, summer sale, right around the corner, the June 11th sale. All right, I'm going to leave a link in the description, www.enhancedsteam.com. Go to it. Here it is. We just go to the download now. It automatically detects that I'm using Google Chrome. But there's also a Firefox and an Opera version. We're going to download now. We're going to install it. Very simple, guys. It just runs in your app. We have done this all before. Now, in order to use it, we are not using our normal executable program like this where you install and install Steam. What we're going to do is go to our browser, the browser that we downloaded it for. So, for example, I'm in Google Chrome right now. And we're going to go to www.steampowered.com. The first thing we want to do is, let's go into the options here. We want to go into this Enhanced Steam drop-down and go to Options. And here there's a whole bunch of stuff. Guys, I'm not going to go through all these options. Read them yourself. You can set them how you want, but... Here we can set different colors for different things. For example, items I own I have set in green. Items on my wish list I have set in blue. Items with coupons in this purple. Items stored as a gift, brown. Um, different things like that. So what that means is that now, say for example right here, Rust, it's in green. That means I already own it. Right here, Life is Futile, it's in green. If we were to compare that to... The normal Steam, not green, not green. It's just a really nice visual way to recognize games you have or recognize games on your wish list. For example, games on my wish list right here, this Ark Survival Evolved. Gary's Mod here, it's in brown because I have a gift copy in my inventory. All right, so that's one quick feature. All right, so now if we go here, another nice, really nice feature. Let's let's compare these side by side here, just so you guys can kind of really see the difference here. We have all these extra tabs up here. There's so many more options with Enhanced Steam too, and the more you look, the more you'll find. Again, I'm not going to go through all the features, but we we'll go to popular new releases. Um, let's go to top sellers here. Compare that to top sellers here. If we got popular. It'll show the most popular games on Steam right now. Dota 2, Counter-Strike, Team Fortress 2. Kind of what's the most being played. Um, let's go back to top sellers once. Nice, you know, here it says I owned. Here it says it's on the wish list. Gift, owned, wish list. It's just very, so much easier. I like it way better than these little flags. That's just my personal opinion. Plus, I can see the colors. I, I just tend to believe a visual representation is better. But let's, uh, let's click on Fallout 3 here. And we'll click on Fallout 3 on our other Steam. Here's a couple things that I think are great. For one, you'll notice on Enhanced Steam, we have all these red boxes. There's all these, there's just so much more information. Here on normal Steam, it tells us in Fallout 3 is not optimized for Windows 7 and later. Meaning, hey, be careful if you are running Windows XP, this game might not work for you, all right? Um, it, it gives you the same notice here, but it also tells you this game is excluded from Steam's family sharing service, which is great to know. Also, warning, this title uses third-party DRM games for Windows Live. This is information that is just not up in front and center. It is down in here if you go system requirements, read more, and you really read this. I'm sure you can find, oh, right here, other requirements. Online play requires login to games for Windows Live. Enhanced Steam gives you information that a lot of people are looking for, puts it right out in front. All right, now if you notice here, we got the weekend special, $4.99. Um, 
here it also tells the current lowest price, which is at Steam. Um, the historical lowest price is was two dollars and twenty nine cents at Git Games, roughly half a year ago. Nice little information. Um, here, if we scroll down, buy Fallout 3 Game of the Year Edition, we can buy it $11.99 right now on Steam. It's also on Amazon, you know, that we find out on Enhanced Steam. They're not going to tell you this information because that they want you to buy it from Steam, of course. It also tells you how many times the game has been in a bundle right down here. What that means is how many times it's been in the Humble Bundle or Indie Gala or something like that. All right, let's, um, another thing I, I think is really great about Enhanced Steam, let me, sh let's go find a different game here. Let's go for a multiplayer game, because I think that's where it's most helpful. Let's, uh, maybe an older one. Let's, uh, Rainbow Six here. Um, let's go here. Rainbow Six, Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Vegas 2. This game came out in 2008, so seven years ago. So say you don't own this game and maybe you remember playing it on Xbox and you really like it and you want to buy it for the computer and you really want to play it online. Problem with an old game like this is you never know if people are actually playing it or not. You'd hate to buy a game and no one is playing it. If we scroll down here, current players right now right at this moment there is 81 people playing rainbow six vegas 2. very nice information if we go to another one maybe some of these early access games here um oh i want to go games early access for example this arc survival evolved came out very very dependent on multiplayer but man is anyone really even playing this thing well, right now, 37,218 people are playing it. So, safe to say, you're going to be able to find a match. But let's say, for example, we check out Air Brawl, okay? We scroll down. 28 people are playing right now. Again, you know, not saying you shouldn't buy Air Brawl because I'm sure it's a great game, but mm, something you might want to keep in consideration is how many people are playing it, how long it's been out. This game just released a couple days ago, so... And judging by the reviews, it seems great anyways, but not that I'm trying to discourage you guys from buying a game, but if that information is important to you, especially looking for online players, that is on Enhanced Steam. All right, another great, great tool on Enhanced Steam is the community market. If you notice, here, here's the normal Steam on the right, Enhanced Steam on the left. Enhanced Steam has this extra column here. And that is the lowest price available for that option. Now, these are all items that I'm currently trying to sell. So, for example, this Bad Rats foil, I listed it on November 23rd, quite a long time ago. And the current market had it for $2.30, $2, or, you know, that's what I was trying to sell it for. And right now it's going for $0.43. Cents. So I probably want to get to lowering that. Here you can see that... This one, for example, $8.48, that's the current lowest right now. I have the lowest on that one already, so no need, need to adjust it. But great way to just quick visually look and see what needs to be adjusted. I also like on the bottom here, it totals it all up. If I was to sell everything right now, I'd get $18.16, $20.76, but a little bit would be going to Steam. Another great feature I really like about Enhanced Steam is just searching for things. If I just click the the little magnifying glass here without anything typed in, I'll get browsing all games. And it adds this little checklist here, the hide. So I could just go and remember all these ones in green I already own. So like, like let's just get them out of here. Boom, they're gone. And you can do it for different, or they're back. Items that, um, let's say I want to hide or hide the items in my wish list. There, they're gone. Items in my cart, items not discontinued. I only want to see items that are on sale. Boom, there they are. One last quick thing before we go. If we go Enhance Steam, go in the drop down, and go to Donate. Here's a little Donate page. If you got an extra dollar, 
or five dollars or whatever here he's even giving away a free badge donate your extra money it encourages great things like this to continue um, you guys got any questions put them in the comments below I'll try to answer them talk to you guys later genius pie trap over now later bye victory the outcome was never really in doubt eat my dust Let's have a go at it! Godspeed, you magnificent bastard! Giddy up! It is good there to be giant, man! Guts and glory!